Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we break down the world of CNC machining part by part. Now let me ask you this. Have you ever looked at the tiny screws in your smartphone, the pins in your watch, or a surgical implant and wondered, how is something that small made with that much detail? It's not magic, it's engineering at its finest. In today's video, we're diving into one of the most powerful machines in modern precision manufacturing. It is the CNC Swiss Screw Machine. I am going to show you how it works, what it makes, and why it's trusted in industries where there's no room for mistakes. So, grab your favorite tool, get ready to learn something new, and let's break it down. A Swiss screw machine, also known as a Swiss type lathe or Swiss automatic, is a specialized CNC machine designed for high precision turning of small, long, and complex parts. What makes it different from a conventional lathe is the way the material moves. In a traditional CNC lathe, the material is held in a chuck and spins while stationary cutting tools move into position to shape it. But in a Swiss machine, it's the opposite. The material is held by a sliding headstock, which moves the part in and out of the machine through a guide bushing near the cutting area. This means the workpiece is always fully supported at the point of contact, significantly reducing deflection and vibration. That's critical for machining long, thin, or delicate parts that would normally bend or chatter on a standard lathe. Swiss machines also tend to be more compact but more powerful in terms of capability. They're optimized for multitasking, with multiple tools working simultaneously and automation built into every step. Let's walk through how a Swiss screw machine operates from raw bar to finished part. It all starts with a long bar stock, usually made of titanium, stainless steel, copper, brass, aluminum, or plastic. The material is loaded into an automatic bar feeder, which pushes the bar into the machine with precise positioning. At the heart of the Swiss machine is the sliding headstock. This component moves back and forth along the Z-axis, pulling the bar through a guide bushing. This bushing supports the bar right where cutting takes place, unlike traditional lathes where the part extends unsupported. This design significantly reduces vibration and allows the machine to cut long, slender parts with high stability and tight tolerances. Next, we have the cutting tools, mounted on gang slides or turrets. These tools stay in place while the material moves, enabling multiple operations, turning, grooving, drilling, or even threading, all performed in sequence or simultaneously. For example, one tool might be cutting the part's outer diameter while another is drilling the center, all during a single cycle. After machining is complete, the part is parted off, dropping into a collection tray. The bar then advances and the next cycle begins immediately. All of this happens in continuous automated cycles, ideal for high volume production. Swiss screw machines are not limited to simple turning. In fact, what sets modern CNC Swiss lathes apart is their ability to perform multiple operations at once, all thanks to live tooling and multi-axis movement. Live tooling refers to rotary tools powered by an independent motor. These tools allow the machine to perform milling, cross-drilling, slotting, and engraving right on the lathe without moving the part to another setup. Now, let's talk axes. Standard CNC lathes typically move in X and Z, but Swiss machines often operate with 7, 9, or even 13 axes. Each axis gives the machine another dimension of movement. For example, X axis for turning tools and part off Z axis for headstock move forward and back. Y axis for offset drilling and milling. C axis is spindle rotation for indexing features. B axis on advanced machines. Angular motion for backworking or complex geometry. EFG axis for subspindle and live tool positions. With these axes, a Swiss machine can perform operations on multiple sides of the part, even simultaneously. That means the front of the part might be getting turned while the back is drilled and the side is being milled, all in one synchronized cycle. So, what kinds of parts are made on CNC Swiss screw machines? The answer is small, super long, complex components that demand flawless accuracy, often produced in the thousands or millions. On the other hand, 
Swiss Machines is designed for making complicated parts such as 3D cutting, engraving. Let's look at a few examples. In medical devices, Swiss Machines are used to produce bone screws, orthopedic pins, and surgical implants. These parts are often implanted inside the human body, meaning they must meet exact tolerances and be made from biocompatible materials like titanium or stainless steel. In the aerospace industry, they're used for fuel injector nozzles, control pins, and sensor housings. These parts must withstand extreme conditions, pressure, temperature, and vibration, without failure. In electronics, you'll find Swiss machined parts and connector pins, signal contacts, and RF microwave components. These parts are often less than an inch long, but require multiple features and ultra-tight tolerances. In automotive systems, Swiss lathes make components for fuel delivery, ABS systems, and emission control valves, helping vehicles run cleaner, safer, and more efficiently. And in luxury products like Swiss watches, pens, and optical instruments, Swiss screw machines deliver the flawless finishes and micro detail that define quality. Now that we've seen what CNC Swiss screw machines can do, let's talk about why they're the top choice for manufacturers around the world. They offer ultra-high precision, holding tolerances as tight as plus 0.001 inches or 0.0025 millimeter. The guide bushing minimizes vibration, resulting in better surface finishes, especially on long, slender parts. These machines can perform multiple operations, turning, drilling, milling, in one setup. They support lights-out manufacturing, running unattended for high-volume production. Overall, Swiss machines maximize efficiency, reduce labor, and deliver consistent, high-quality results. Despite their power, Swiss machines are compact. You can fit more of them into a shop floor and still run more jobs simultaneously. We've seen how CNC Swiss screw machines take small parts to a whole new level of precision. But what's next for this technology? Swiss machines now feature AI-assisted programming, real-time monitoring, and adaptive machining capabilities. They can automatically adjust cutting parameters for better accuracy and tool life. Integration with robotics and cloud-based dashboards allows for remote performance tracking and smart automation. As industries demand faster, more complex production, Swiss machines are evolving to meet those needs with intelligence and precision. Thanks for your watching. Drop a comment if you want a deep dive into Swiss programming, bar feeders, or tooling setups. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more CNC breakdowns.